Sarah and Friends with Princess Rapunzel, Pablo's Frightful Garden. Pablo woke up bright and early. He had a lot of work to do in his garden. There were weeds to be pulled up, and where there were vines to be trimmed, and there were lots of delicious ripe vegetables just waiting to be picked. The only problem was that Pablo had lent all his tools to his friends, and they hadn't returned them. In the meantime, Princess Rapunzel and Kate were enjoying breakfast at Dora's house when Alana bounced in with a bunch of wild flowers for the princess. Thank you, Alana! Princess Rapunzel exclaimed. Dora said, "Let me just trim these and put them in some water." She rummaged around in a kitchen drawer where she came across Pablo's gardening shears. She said, "Oh no!" I never returned these to Pablo after I borrowed them," Kate said. "That reminds me, I still have Pablo's rake, and Alana, I'll bet you still have Pablo's shovel." The friends decided the neighborly thing to do would be to return Pablo's tools right away. When they arrived at Pablo's house, though, their friend was not at home. He was on his way to their houses to get his tools back. Princess Rapunzel said. Pablo's garden could use some work. Why don't we take care of it for him as a way of saying that we are sorry for keeping his tools for so long? Everyone agreed that this was a splendid plan. Alana said about weeding while Kate raked. Princess Rapunzel snipped ripe tomatoes, peppers and cucumbers off the vines. Dora gathered them into big baskets. When they had finished, they spotted some birds hungrily eyeing the harvest. This garden needs a scarecrow! cried Alana. The work crew sprang into action, and soon a towering scarecrow was planted right in the middle of the garden. They propped the tools against the scarecrow, placed the baskets of food in front of it, and started for home. Won't Pablo be surprised? Kate said proudly. When Pablo returned home a few minutes later, he couldn't quite believe his eyes. First, he looked at the vegetables, all neatly picked. Then he looked at his garden tools, which had mysteriously reappeared. Finally, he looked at the strange scarecrow, which seemed to be looking right back at him. Did 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 did, did you did do this? He stammered to the straw man. Just then, a gust of wind knocked over the rake, resting on the scarecrow's arm. Convinced his garden was haunted, Pablo turned and ran for his life. Ah! He screamed as he rushed past his friends. I told you he'd be surprised," said Kate. Rapunzel stopped Pablo and said, "Stop, Pablo! We have done all this just to help you." Pablo heaved a sigh of relief and exclaimed, "Oh, thank goodness! Oh, thank you, everyone, for retaining the tools and helping me in all this garden work." Everyone started laughing at the reaction of Pablo. The end. Gracias, amigos. Thank you, my friends. Hope you like this wonderful story of Dora and friends with Princess Rapunzel about Pablo's frightful garden. See you next time for a new video from Dora and Friends. Bye bye. Adios.